I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be doing this little Joy wreath for you today. and This is one of my favorite ones. We're going to add a lot more to it and finish it off. So we're going to show you how we completed it. Um, I found the little Joy, little uh, Joy glitter word at Target in the dollar section right when you walk in the front of the store. They also had a little Noel which was really really cute too. I purchased the little wreath at uh, Dollar Tree and a lot of the dollar stores had them this year and you can just put those little words right on them and there's other little words out there don't get just stuck going and looking for just this one you can find a little word and find the color wreath to match it so there's a lot of things you can do with that just have fun uh, the first thing we're going to do though is we're going to decorate our little joy and I want you to look at how much just adding a little bit of wax adds to it it really does kind of bring it to life it's kind of really a nice thing to do. So we're going to get started on our wax and I'm going to be using a white glitter crayon today. And those are of course in the uh, Gorilla uh, Glitter Crayon Box. And I'm warming my tool up. If you're not familiar with my process, check out one of my videos called The Basis of Wax Design so you know how to make this process work. So there is some little things to it like warming your tool that you have to know. Now you can see the white doesn't really stand out a lot here, but it's going to stand out a little bit more once we get the blue on either side of it. So we're not going to quite worry about that yet. We're just going to get our white on here. And a lot of you know I don't use, usually use the uh, glitter crayons on top of a glittered project because it doesn't show up quite as much, but because we're putting a color on both sides of it that is not, it's going to show up a little bit better. So let's remove this little bit of drop here that I put on. Okay, and I'm going to be using a blue with a little bit of white on it to lighten it up. Blues are always so dark. I'm trying to match this color, so I'm bringing that in to match that color. And try to make your project work for you. Turn it around until you're pulling the wax towards you. And if you go around your project instead of over it, in case you drop, you try not to drop on your project. And we're just making oh, some little dots here. And I need to slow down from bringing it over. When I get a little bit hurried on the videos, that's when I start to drop. So I need to slow down here. Alright, now let's get this drop off. And we always try to leave these kind of things in there for you because if I do it, chances are you do it. And I removed that off that stroke right there. And you can see I saved that white stroke. Now I'm not going to worry about getting this too clean except for over here because we're going to come back over it. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're going to come in here now and we're going to add some dots to brighten it up a little bit more. And for those of you that are wondering, I'm using my number one tool, the large end. Remember, it depends on what type of crayon you're using too. Now, in the middle of this one, on the other little joy, I did a snowflake made out of the um, glue gun, using the glue gun. There is a video for that. I'm not going to go into that because that will take too much of our time today. So check that out, and you can put that little snowflake right there on the ornament, and that really adds a lot to it. Or you can just put a regular little snowflake on that. There's a bunch of little snowflakes. Look in the scrapbook section or little embellishment sections at Michael's. They always have something fun. Now I'm going to come across the top and I'm going to put the top of the ornament on to make it look more like an ornament. I did switch down to my zero tool 
and we're just going to bring that all the way across. If I was doing, the, I'm sticking with the white because I don't want to introduce a new color, but you also could do silver. Most of the times I'm doing silver or gold because that's what they usually are. And I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to just bring this out to make it look more like a snowflake. try a little bit of some strokes here just to make it more snowflake looking to me and I do like that. You can see I'm just bringing in little strokes and I'm running off the edge. That makes it look like a snowflake. And for those of you that don't know, we've also have got um, up on Pinterest and Twitter, so you can follow us there. I can't keep up with the social media. My husband and I were talking about how I need an intern to just post on those. I spent the first three hours of the day on just on the computer trying to keep up with everybody today. So isn't that really, really cool? I mean, there's the plain side. And there's the joy, and you can just use that to add to an arrangement or sit on the table or on your fireplace. Just makes a lot of really neat things. Now at this point in time, I would take this outside and spray varnish it because you want it varnished. It also brings your crayon uh, back to life more and makes it shiny instead of dull. But I'm going to show you a little trick here now. Um, we're going to put the hangers on this to put this onto our little wreath. And this is kind of a method that I came up with and it seems to work very, very well. If I glued this on, it probably would pop off with just the wire right onto the glitter. So I'm going to show you a little trick that I do. And because we've always talked about how glue gun, when you use a glue gun, the surface that you're working on has to be absorbent. And obviously, the wires are not very absorbent. I'm not going to worry about that wax because that's on the back. So take your glue gun where we're going to put this. I'm going to try to put this kind of in the middle of this. And set your wire down where you want it to go. And then take a piece of material because material is absorbent. And that is going to soak up that wax, or excuse me, the glue from the glue gun, and is going to hold it into place, therefore holding your wire. So I'm going to do just a little bit more because I've got a little bit cool. So let's do that on our other side. Make sure I have this ready to go so it doesn't get a chance to cool off. And that way you can put a lot of stuff onto your wreath that you normally couldn't hot glue on. So let's just set that guy there this time, just right there. Of course, he kind of wiggles a little bit on us, and we're going to put that material right over the top of him. And we're going to absorb that in. Get rid of all our glue gun strings. Okay, we've got him glued on. Now, I'm going to kind of build this wreath for you as we're going. Take these little guys out. And I'm going to leave this guy in. I'm not going to do it. But there's two things of the, the wreath and you just stick one on either side right in there and then you tie those in the back so that they're on nice and secure and then you can just trim those down or bend them down whatever you want to do and you have that on. Now there's one other thing that I'm going to add to that. This is a snowflake pick and these came in a packages of either four or six at the dollar store and they're just little foam snowflakes and I'm going to put 
crayon on them because look at the difference it just really brightens those up and I think it really brings out the joy because you're picking up that blue color as well so I'm going to kind of just follow the pattern that they have we're going to try not to make this too long and you can use these as ornaments or picks or whatever you want not just with your wreath there's a lot of things you can do with these so just think of all the fun things and go for it and i would spray varnish them when you are done to help hold them in place and you can see i should have reversed that i should have put the little guys on first and then cleaned it up with the big stroke so that they don't come over the top of that big stroke so Always nice that I learn by my mistakes, so you hopefully don't have to learn the hard way. And they have trees and bells and all kinds of these little guys. So it works really good on the foam. The only thing that I have out that I wish it would work on is the felt. The felt is too absorbent. I have sprayed and sprayed and sprayed and sprayed it and uh, with the varnish and it just absorbs too much and you'd have to keep going over it and going over it so unless we can figure out a different way to do that I have not been able to do it on the little felt guys and I am using my zero tool now the larger end and the last one here And then because the middle is so bare, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a little bit of design there. But I would also put a rhinestone or something like that in the middle to help clean this up as well to make it brighter. Now these little guys, I really don't want to be... And like I said, I would varnish them. I don't want this part here. And I don't want to heat them to get that out because if you heat it, the foam will melt on you and so will the wax. So we are going to see where we want these. And I'm going to set those aside for just a moment. And we're going to start with the bow and we're going to work our way down. Now that bow is too narrow. So we're going to add a little bit more to our bow here. Needs to be a little bit fuller for as little as we're doing. You can buy this ribbon at the dollar stores and it's just fine. If you need a lot of ribbon, purchase your ribbon at Costco. I think it's 50 feet for about seven or eight dollars and you just can't beat that. And I'm not gonna walk you through all the way I did this ribbon. I do have a video on just how to do a bow. If you need help with that, slows down a little bit and goes into a little bit more detail. Always, You can always add on one. If you have one that's a similar color or light and a dark color, you can always save your bows off your Christmas presents and just keep adding on them. You don't have to... Um, not use them because they're so little. Just put them together and make more out of them. Kind of like I just did right there. So we're going to tie that with that ribbon. Another thing I love to tie bows with, especially if I'm doing them for weddings and stuff, is the um, Chanel or pipe cleaner. And they're really easy to work with and hold on to. And I might see, I might glue that guy back in there just to give him another tail, give him more fullness, which I think is great and helps fill him out some more. So we used all of the ribbon, we're not wasting any of it. Make sure we get the pretty part out front and then we're going to come over to our little ribbon and these guys do have hangers on our um, 
little debris, so you want to make sure that the hanger is up top so you don't have to build another one. And I'm going to twist that on. I'm about out of wire here, so we'll see if we can get this on here or not. I may have to come over with another wire. And that's okay. We'll do that. And I don't want it all the way to the edges. I want it again in between the top, so I'm covering those middle ones so my wire doesn't show as much. So I'm just going to tie that on. And I'm going to cut off the excess. A lot of times, if you don't have a hook, you can just turn that into a hook and then just twist it again. And that looks really well. Okay, see how much butter that is already. So we're going to give this some floral picks here. And these are just little floral guys. And I picked these up at Michael's. I thought they were really nice for what we're working with. And I'm one of these people that always kept my glue gun on high. And I don't know why. On stuff like this, it does not need to be on high. It can be on a lower setting. And then you don't get burned and you don't hear me yell as much. Unless you're doing a project where you need the high, high setting. We're trimming these down so they don't stick out. I just thought these were really cool with the bells and everything in them. So you're sticking up kind of in between your bow. Up higher. Now I'm going to add some a little bit more of the blues in these to bring out the blue down here. Just to make it match. So I'm going to bring in just a little darker blue. And just add. And you don't have to add one or two doesn't matter but isn't this guy cute i really think he's starting to come to life and then i thought these were kind of cute down here so we're going to glue them on try to stick your tip part in so it doesn't show up on the sides so the part where we cut it off of we're going to put it in here. And you can do as little or as much or whatever you think. If you think this is too much, you like less, then do less. These guys are too long. Trim them a bit. Try to make them a little bit smoother than the way I cut them. Might even go a little bit shorter with that. And if you think it needs a couple more of these blue ones, add that too. I can't quite decide here. Usually you know, look at it, it doesn't look good. Trust your gut. It usually tells you the best. And you could also put a ball in the middle of your um, bow, too. But probably you need a bigger one. If you, and I don't think this one needs it at all. So, Okay, there we have our little joy wreath. And this was a fun project. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you have any questions about this project, please email me at art at miriamjoy.com. For any of the wax products that we use today, please visit my website at miriamjoy.com. There's our YouTube link where there's wonderful videos just like this one. We're trying to get a bunch of Christmas ones up and running for you. And as well as a Facebook link where you can jump on over to Facebook where we have a competition going on currently, Christmas 2012, which is a 25 days of Christmas where we're giving out prizes every day. So come on over and join the fun. There's also uh, Pinterest and Twitter, which we're trying to get a little bit more active. So thank you for taking time to join me today. Have a Merry Christmas. God bless.